Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. We're going to talk about the Flysky i6s and how to set up the aux switches. Okay, because uh, as this transmitter is, it is a 10 channel transmitter and four of the channels are used up in the sticks. We have one, two, three, and four. Uh, and so that leaves us with six extra channels and we're going to assign those to the switches and those extra channels are called aux channels. And so kind of the term aux switch and aux channel are, can sort of be used interchangeably sometimes. In this transmitter, the switches are labeled. So like there's switch A, switch B, switch C, switch D, and then you have your um, variable B and variable A right here. And then you have the two little keys, which these are actually not labeled, but they're called key one and key two. And so we can take those six aux, I don't know why I'm doing that for, six aux channels and assign them to the switches. And this will be useful for airplanes, but especially useful in beta flight with quadcopters. So let's get started. And let's get into the menu by unlocking it, pressing and holding the lock button. Let's get in here. And in the function menu, we want to scroll down to aux channels. Let's click on that. By the way, this is the April 4th, 2020 version of firmware for the i6s and you can see we can scroll through the channels here we have channels 5 6 7 8 9 and 10. so in order to use this channel we need to assign it to a switch or something so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to tap on this symbol and then uh, null is nothing vr is one of these uh, variable uh, knobs and then uh, STX is going to actually be one of these sticks, which that's actually kind of interesting. That's not that's not something that you could do on the i6X. Um, I'm not sure why you would want to do that exactly. I haven't used that yet, but you can do it if you want. Key is going to be one of these two keys on the back. And then what we're gonna use here is switch, SWX. And so let's hit switch. And then we can choose from all the different switches from these four switches up here. And then on the on the i6s, uh, these two longer switches are three position switches, and the other ones are just two position switches. Now, in this case, uh, let's say we wanted to set up an arming switch for a quadcopter, which uh, typically I would use channel five. So we'll set that as switch A. And so what that means is now this switch right here is going to control channel. Five. And in beta flight, this switch right here would correspond with aux one. Okay, and then we can do the same thing for the rest of these. So we can set this, let's say we want to set it up as a switch. We can say switch B for right here. And then let's just kind of, let's mix it up a little bit. So we'll say this one, let's make this, uh, so channel seven is going to be variable A. Um, let's make this one be one of the keys. So channel uh, channel eight is, let's, let's make it key one. And let's go ahead and say for channel nine, let's make that a switch. And let's make it, um, or I mean not a switch, a stick, a stick. So this is going to be, uh, it'll be on the channel one stick is, is what it should show up as. And then for channel 10, let's just say that, uh, let's make it a switch. And let's make it uh, switch um, D. Let's make it switch D. Cool. So once you do that, you just back out of there, and you can go back to the main menu. You don't. It, it'll save automatically, which is nice. And then we can, uh, from the main menu, we can swipe right to get to our uh, channel display page. The first four channels on this display are for the sticks, and then all of the additional channels are going to be for the channels that we set up. So channel five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So five, like we said, is connected to this switch. So you can see it moving there. Uh, we have channel six on switch B, like that. We have channel seven, oh, there we go, that one. Channel seven is on uh, our variable knob right there. So you can see we can 
move that um, varying amounts. And channel eight, we have as a key back here, this key right here. So we press that, that's like a, I guess that, you know, like a momentary type of switch, but I wouldn't put anything important on these switches because uh, it's really easy to press them accidentally. And then this is interesting, channel nine, we've set to correspond with, also with channel uh, one, with our, typically our roll uh, channel, our roll stick. So that is actually interesting. That's something I haven't played with yet. That could be useful if you wanna get uh, servos to mimic one of your sticks without having to um, split them off or make a mix for, for that particular stick. I don't know, there's all kinds of things you could use that for. And then for channel 10, we have this switch right here. Well, there you go, folks. That is how you set up aux switches on the Flysky i6S. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate your time. If you like this video and you want to learn more about Flysky stuff, check out this playlist right over here because I've got like a bunch of Flysky videos just for you. So thanks for watching and I will see you again very soon. In fact, I'll see you right over there in that video.